How's it going everyone? John Castillo here and today we're talking about how to transfer photos and videos from your smartphone to your laptop. Now I happen to be on a completely Apple workflow so if you happen to have an Android smartphone or a PC skip to this timestamp and my buddy Keegan Bulino will be taking care of you. Okay so I'm going to assume that you have a video recorded already. So I'm going to open my phone, head over to the photos app, and under recent, I have this video which I just recorded as an example. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the bottom left over here, the little arrow, arrow shooting out of the box. That's the share button. Go ahead and press that and you'll have tons of options to choose from. You'll have messages, you'll have mail, TikTok, Instagram, whatever sort of apps that you may have on your phone. And you also have this AirDrop. AirDrop is an Apple only wireless sharing network and you can share things from an iPhone to a MacBook to an iMac to whatever sort of Apple device will be able to send or receive AirDrop files. So gonna go ahead and select AirDrop and you'll see MacBook Pro 2 is right over here. The devices have to be physically close to each other so that's this MacBook over here. And I'm going to go ahead and click it and it'll say waiting and sent. I have sent something before from my iPhone to my MacBook so I didn't have to accept it, it just goes. And you'll be able to find your file in the downloads folder. So that's done, now let's continue on the MacBook. So you're gonna wanna go to the very bottom and select Finder. Once you've got Finder selected, you'll be able to see all of your recent files. On the left menu over here, you're gonna wanna select the downloads and it'll be the very first thing if you have this organized by a date added. So as you can see here, this is organized by date added. You can always click on this in order to do that. And that's the file right there. And you've got it in your downloads folder. You can change it, put it wherever you want. You're done. So now on to Android and PC. Keegan, take it away. Thanks, John. So uh, unfortunately, us Android users have it a little bit harder than uh, iPhone users, especially if you're going from Android to Mac. We don't have AirDrop like iOS users have. So there are a couple extra steps, but it's not that complicated in the end. I use Google Drive to send files from my Android phone to my Mac, and you can do the exact same thing on PC because you're logging into the Google Drive website to download your files. So the first thing you have to do on your phone is get the Google Drive app if you don't already have it, and you can find that on the Play Store. And if you don't already have a Google Drive account or a Google account, you can sign up through the app and you can get 15 gigabytes of free storage. So let's say you recorded a video file of you speaking on your phone and you wanna send that to your computer. The first thing you're gonna do is open the Google Drive app on your phone. And down on the bottom, make sure you've clicked the tab all the way to the right called Files. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of folders just to keep myself organized. And there's one folder down here that I made, it's called Personal Outbox. And that's where I like to upload everything that I'm sending myself on the computer. So what you're gonna do is press the plus button on the bottom of the app, and then we have a bunch of options here. And we're gonna select the Upload button. Now that'll open a file browser on your phone. It might not look exactly like this because all phones have a slightly different looking file browser. And then what you're gonna have to do is find the file that you just filmed. So when you find the video, tap it, and then Google Drive will automatically upload it to that folder that you've created. Now we're gonna head to the computer and find that file and download it to the computer. So here we have Google Drive open on my computer, and we're gonna navigate to the folder that we created, the personal outbox folder. And then you can see here that the video we just uploaded is now there. We can double click and watch it and check that it's hey, the right video. Remember, longer videos have a bigger file size, so they're gonna take longer to upload, so give it some time if you don't see it right away. What we're gonna do on that file is right click, and we're gonna press download. And then there you have it. The video file is on your computer and ready to use in your video editing software. Thanks again for having me, John. See you later. Thank you, Keegan. Keegan's a good friend of mine, photographer, videographer, audio engineer, you name it. We sort of followed a very similar life trajectory. Anyways, he's got a YouTube channel as well. Check him out, I'm linking him in the outro, which, if you pay attention, is just around the corner, meaning I have to wrap up. See you in the next one, peace. <laughs>